zero fashion sense. I actually know nothing about fashion. I live in leggings and oversized t-shirts and I have no credentials to critique fashion whatsoever. I just really, really love looking at what celebrities wore and I just thought that this would be a fun video to go over all the looks that we saw. So let's get into it. Okay, so first we have ASAP Rocky and Rihanna and I don't love Rihanna's outfit. I don't know. It's very eccentric. It's very wow. Um, the, the flowers are the same flowers that Chanel uses so I get that. But I just felt like her outfit could have been a little bit more elegant. Um, yeah, I'm just not loving it. I do love the shades with the lashes and obviously the signature red lip, which is very Rihanna. I love ASAP Rocky's outfit. I don't know. I love the skirt and the jeans combination along with like the jacket which goes along with the wedding theme which goes along with Carl Lagerfeld. Um, I can't see his shoes for some reason. Next up we have Cardi B and I didn't love Cardi B's outfit either and I didn't love the hair. I know that she perfectly went for a gray look and I get that but something about it I do not love and I wish I would have seen her in something different I get I get the idea of the outfit and trying to stay on theme I don't know I just like don't love it on her but she looks beautiful I love the headband I love the bangs I kind of wish that she would have went platinum blonde okay Jenna Ortega I don't know I just like don't like her like I don't love when people carry on the vibe of a character that they've played and I really feel like she's holding on to Wednesday Adams for some reason I'm sure she's like really great and really nice um, I just don't love this outfit for her because she is shorter like me and I don't know like it's very off balance but I love the shoes I don't know like what I would have done different I love the shoes and I love the top of this dress I just don't love the like ace asym asymmetry vibe that I'm getting from this dress I love the hair though I love that she is getting away from the black hair and going back to like her natural or like a natural like brown color I love that and I love the makeup I think it suits her so well all right Pedro Pascal in Valentino I'm kind of living for this like the shorts are giving ACDC Thunderstruck um, if you've ever seen like the live performance on YouTube that's what the short shoe combo is giving me I love these boots that he's wearing they are like a combat boot situation and I love this like super deep bright red situation that's going on I love the hair I just love the simplicity of this outfit but it is so bold and like I just love the boots like I cannot get over the boots and I love this color red it's so bright and the little gold accents of jewelry are giving that is absolutely adorable all right Gigi Hadid oh my gosh I think everything about Gigi Hadid is just like God really took his time with her like she is perfection and I love this outfit on her I love this dress I love the corset like little action that we got going on and like the delicate wispy lace and I just love it and the detail like what is that it's like nothing in particular it's just like feathers and it's so gorgeous everybody's kind of going for like the glove situation but I actually really love it on her I just think the 
this like outfit complements her body so well and I know like we're not supposed to say that in today's society because it's not PC but like this outfit works the hair it just feels effortless and the makeup is so smoky and beautiful and the lip I love that lip I love that makeup and I love the pearls I'm not really a pearl girl but that is definitely giving all right we got Miss Kendall Jenner and I was conflicted when I first saw these photos on like Instagram but this outfit really grew on me I love love the boot situation I don't know if it's like the boots themselves or if it's because Kendall Jenner is already so tall that they just accentuate like her whole body like you know what I mean I love this like onesie cape arm situation the sequence the neck and the jewelry really really complements this outfit I love that she kept the hair very simple but I love the big earrings oh my gosh and the makeup's very simple too because the outfit I don't know like I so I just like want to crawl inside of this outfit and like live here forever I love the black and white this is Marc Jacobs I love that oh my god I every time I see this photo I'm so jealous like the snatched waist the skinny legs she literally looks like 10 feet tall and I freaking love it like I love everything about it Kim Kardashian and Scaparelli I don't love this and I don't know why my favorite Met Gala look is the wet look that Miss Kim Kardashian did years ago like in that like almost like latex dress with like the beads and her, her waist was like ungodly snatched I, that's my favorite look ever like every Met Gala look has to compare to that look I don't know I don't like the like undergarment situation I think that's like what's throwing me off about this look because like I and I know it's probably purposeful like obviously like they meant to do that I don't know I don't love it like if it was like some kind of like body body suit and I don't love the necklace like it, it's throwing off the pearls for me but the makeup is so smoky like this is what I think of when I think of Kim Kardashian like when I think of Kim Kardashian makeup I think of like smoky really bold and I love that I love the hair she's giving us a break from the blonde and I really appreciate that like in a sense I feel like she looks very natural like as natural as she can look and Hathaway can we just talk about Anne Hathaway for a minute like she ate us up with this look the tweed is giving very much Chanel which I was expecting I don't know this body this outfit the hair is giving 2012 Lana Del Rey to me that's just my opinion I don't know she just ate this look up it is so good I love the like pin situation that's going on the gold pins to like hold the dress together oh my gosh she looks so good I remember when I saw this on Twitter I like she just looks so good I love the hair and Anne Hathaway like never screams like unnatural makeup to me so I just love the makeup Doja Cat I feel like Doja Cat was born to come to this Met Gala and wear this outfit I honestly love everything about this outfit it is so simple yet like so much is going on I love the cat makeup like and I love when she did interviews she literally meowed like a cat like she did not say anything um, and that is honestly just fucking genius I love this dress with the hood cat ears and the detailing on the bottom I just eat that up I feel like she has like such a great body to like pull off this dress and the makeup like yeah she is wearing like a cat nose mount it's giving very much Dr. 
Dr. Seuss, but I'm like eating it up because like the makeup is so good, the lashes, like I'm like, I don't even know, this is so good, little Nas X eats every freaking time, he's going to eat every freaking time, and I do not want to hear anybody say anything about him in the comments because this, this is a surf, and I'm sorry, like literally, I don't even know what's going on with this outfit, I freaking love the boots, I think I'm in like my boots era, because every time I see somebody in boots at this Met Gala, I'm literally like choking on it, I love this, another thing that like Little Nas X reminds me of Doja Cat is like when they commit to a look, like they are going to serve that look, and I absolutely just freaking love like whatever this is going on. I, he was styled by Dior. He's wearing Dior, but he's not wearing much, let me tell you. We have uh, Kylie Jenner and John Paul Gaultier, and honestly, when you think of Met Gala, like, you, you think of Kardashian, Jenner clan, like, this is their event. This is not about the art. This is literally about the Kardashian-Jenner clan showing up, and the only person who served literally was Kendall. I just feel like this look is so boring, and it's boring for Kylie. Like, I don't know. I just felt, I feel like she could give more, like, the makeup. I love the makeup. It's very subtle and just simple. I don't love the hair. The hair is giving bedhead. And I don't know. I just, like, obviously she looks gorgeous. Like, she is gorgeous whether you love her or hate her. I love the shoes too. But I just, like, I don't love this dress. We got Aubrey Plaza, and this is honestly not something that I thought I would see her in. I really thought that she was gonna go the, like, suit route. And I love everything but the gloves. I don't know, they're just throwing me off. But she looks gorgeous, this dress, like, the neckline, the detail in the dress. I love the simple hair and makeup. Bad Bunny literally gave nothing. I don't know, maybe it's because he's part of the Kardashian-Jenner clan now. Literally giving nothing. And the train is trying to make up for it. And when I think of Bad Bunny, I think of like super eccentric, like, and all of this is just boring. It's really boring for him. Even the shoes, boring. The hair, boring. He looks like, um, the guy from The Addams Family. Billie Eilish. Okay, this is kind of a serve. This is so cunty. I love this. I love the shoes. I don't know. The boots, the platform shoes. Like, I am so here for it. I love the dark hair on her. Like, she just has, like, sad eyes, and I, I love it. Like, the deep, like, that light blue eyes color that she has. I just love this dress. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. This is not giving in any capacity. I hate everything about this outfit. There is something about it giving very much yarn, and there's just something about yarn that like sends me into sensory overload and that's what this outfit is giving is sensory overload i hate the hair like it's so not her this honestly does not even look like her i hate the bangs i wish i could see the shoes i hate i just hate the hair i don't know that does not look like her right like that looks like somebody else <laughs> I just hate this outfit. I like, uh, and she's so like tall and beautiful. I just felt like she could have done so much more. So we have Giselle and Chanel, and this is kind of a serve because she, like she's up there in age, but she looks absolutely beautiful. Like it's very much giving Victoria's Secret Angel, which I expected. I love the clutch that is giving. Yes, the dress is kind of boring, but something about her is just gorgeous. Like, 
she is just gorgeous. I love the hair, like the peachy, like I don't give a fuck waves. Like she's so fucking rich. She doesn't even need to be here. She's just here for fun. And the makeup is so light and the little like cape situation. It's that's giving Victoria's Secret to me. I love it. Okay, Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra Jonas. I literally get the weirdest vibes from her. Like, obviously I've never met her. Like, I'm literally just talking unhinged shit. Like, this is just for fun. But something about her is unwell. Like, I know she has some kind of secret or something. And I'm like, I just can't put my finger on it. But their outfits together are literally so boring. Valentino, they're wearing Valentino, and this is so boring, like, I don't know, I don't know, it's just like, it irks me. Cara Delevingne, I didn't even know that she would be here, I thought she was in rehab, and I don't mean that, like, in a bad way, like, I'm just saying, like, I'm surprised, I was really surprised to see her, but I love this outfit, I love the hair, like, I love that bleached, like, blunt cut, like, very, like, eccentric. I love the shoes. Like, I don't even know what's going on with the outfit, but I love the shoes with, like, the little, like, attachment that goes up. I don't know. That's just great. Lizzo. Who is she wearing? Chanel. Lizzo, baby. You brought nothing. Like, Lizzo always serves. She always eats it up at these, like, red carpet events. Like, she's always giving, and this is giving church auntie. I don't know why they styled her in this. Like, I really feel like she could have done, like, she could have ate up everybody at this freaking event, and this is what they chose to put her in, and it's giving auntie even the hair, even the hair should be disappointed. <gasps> you guys, Marco freaking Robbie and Chanel. Everything about Marco Robbie is just chef's kiss. Like, she is so, she is the it girl. Like, so F, everything about her is just so gorgeous. And I loved her in these, in this outfit. It's very much a serve. Somebody else wore this outfit. I literally just saw it on Twitter. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna talk about that. And I literally forgot, but this is just everything about her. Her hair, the simple makeup, which seems to be the trend this year. This outfit, like, she has the perfect body for it. I wish I could have seen the shoes. Dua Lipa. Oh my god. Okay, I hate tweed, but obviously she was styled by Chanel, so that is something you are gonna see with Chanel, but she ate this look up. I love the hair. It's just dark. It's simple. It's beautiful. I love the makeup. I love this neckline on her and the, like, huge statement piece necklace. I just love this dress. I don't know, the, like, the fit on her is just gorgeous. Okay, so we got Emily Ratajkowski. I think she's always gorgeous. She's such a beautiful girl. I don't love the bangs on her, but I love this outfit. I love this dress. It is Tory Burch, actually, and that is just beautiful. I love how it kind of tapers off into, like, a skirt at the bottom. I don't know. Something about her is just gorgeous. Like, she has such a beautiful face. Mindy Colling. Um, I don't know something about her, like, personality-wise. I don't know, I feel like she has a lot of skeletons in her closet, like, she used to, like, say racial slurs or something, that's the vibe I get from her. I don't know how I feel about this outfit. I don't hate it, and I don't love it. I don't know, I feel like if it was anybody else, it would have been a serve, but it just doesn't work for her. Paris Hilton, um, this was Paris Hilton's first Met Gala, I believe, and she ate like we expect her to, like she fucking ate, I love the leather, I love the shoes, I can see that they're kind of platformed, and I love that this outfit looks so much better in a different angle, I actually saw um, other pictures of it on like Instagram or Twitter, and it definitely looked better. It's just this picture that they chose didn't do 
with justice, but she looks so good. Naomi Campbell and Chanel, she's literally that girl. Like, I don't love this dress in particularly, like, in general, but I think it looks so good on her, obviously. Like, it's Naomi Campbell. Like, she's gonna serve. I love the hair. Like, I love the sleek black hair. She has, like, amazing facial features. Like, she's eating. Like, she's eating the cameraman. Miss Emma Chamberlain and Mew Mew, and a lot of people hated this, but I actually kind of love it. I loved, like, the, I love the cropped, like, suit and the headband. I just don't love the color for this. I wish it would have been, like, the Pedro Pascal red. Like, that would have been such a serve. I don't know. I actually, like, really love it, though. I don't know. I love, just, I love the look of her. Like, she always looks sad and, like, she's thinking. And I love that. So, Kiki Palmer. Oh, my God. She fucking ate. She came to this event and ate everybody up, literally. And she just had a baby, like, literally not that long ago. I love it. I love the hair. I love the makeup. I love the dress. It is so simple. But she is eating. I believe that dress is tweed, and y'all know how I feel about tweed because I said it. But it's it's working for her. She looks so good. Janelle Monet. I feel like I don't hear anything about Janelle Monet anymore. But one thing about her is she's gonna be on theme every single time. And she was on theme. I love this outfit. I love the like oversized dress situation. I love the bag. I love the shoes. Like the shoes are so comedic and just crazy and adorable. They kind of remind me of bowling shoes and I love it. Diddy. Okay, I wanted to talk about this outfit because he ate like I don't even know like what Diddy is up to these days. But he is looking so hot. This is so hot, so sexy. It's like just black, black, black. Everything is black. I honestly can't even really tell you where this outfit is, but it is such a serve. Like I love the like flower cape sweater situation. He really, he really ate with this one. And he's wearing his own brand. That is like so meta. Okay, so this is Burna Boy and Burberry. And I love this. Everything about him is just so sexy, shall I say. And I feel like this is such a serve. I love the deep blue color and the pattern and his hair. And I honestly don't even really know who he is. I did see him in a chicken shop date episode with Amelia and that's really all I know him for. I think he's like a musician. But I love this outfit. I, oh my god. Please stop it. He's kind of cute. Deanna Taylor did not come to play. I love this outfit. I can't even tell if this is tweed or rhinestones. No, it's definitely tweed. It's one thing about her is she's gonna serve in a suit. I feel like any event I see her at, she's always wearing a suit. But this is such a serve. I love the the hip cutouts. Uh, I I literally just love everything about this, and the jacket turns into gloves. I just really love everything about this. The veil and the sunglasses and the lipstick combination. Everything about this is so sexy. I love it. I just want to know who invited Russell Westbrook. He looks, <laughs> it looks 
aspect. Like, I'm looking at this whole outfit and I'm not bored. Like, and something about him is just like so beautiful. Like, he has amazing jeans. Like, I wonder what his parents look like. I actually wanted to talk about this look. I actually do not know who this is. This is Alton Mason. And I love this outfit. This is so camp. Like, this is this is eating, literally eating the theme of the Met Gala this year. I don't even know who this is, but I love this so much. But this is Florence Pugh in Valentino. And I know that she cut her hair off for a role um, that she's playing. I don't know how I feel about it. I love the headpiece and I love this dress. It's very eccentric which is something I want to see at the Met Gala. And I feel like it really sets her apart. I don't know, maybe I do love the hair situation because like, I feel like if she had like long hair, it would kind of take away from everything else that's going on. Okay, so I actually love it. Um, so this is Charlotte Tilbury in Versace. And this literally looks like Charlotte Tilbury. Like if I drew Charlotte Tilbury from memory. This is literally what she would look like because I feel like I've seen her in an outfit like this before. And I just don't love the emerald green for this event, like with the theme and everything. But the longer I look at this, like actually she looks so gorgeous because like the green and her red hair actually go so well together. I love it actually. So don't listen to anything I said because I love that outfit actually. We got Trevor Noah. Oh my god, this is such a cute look. It is very boring, don't get me wrong. Like it's very like tamed, but I love the cuffed pants and I love those shoes and like the suede looking jacket and then the hair literally just like ties it off. I kind of feel like he is like reminding us that he like is indeed black. But I absolutely love this. I don't know, something about the cuffed pants with those shoes are just giving. Like, it, it is giving. Um, we have Jack Carlo in Tommy Hilfiger. Somebody said he looks like the guy from Narnia. <laughs> and I cannot get that out of my head. Okay, so this is the last person we'll talk about, and I'm going to end this video. This is Christine Chu in Chanel. And a lot of people don't know who Christine is, but... Christine, I actually don't know exactly like what she's famous for or like where she made her money, but she is in a Netflix show called Bling Empire. It's pretty much just about a lot of rich Asians and like them living like in LA and where they got their money and stuff like that. It's such a good show. It's a reality show. And I was like actually so surprised to see that she was coming to the Met. And honestly, she ate like she is so fucking rich. Like, I don't know what I, I think she's a doctor too, but her husband's like a really popular LA plastic surgeon. But I just, I love this outfit on her. Like, I just, I love the look of her. I think that she can just dress really well. Alrighty, guys. So that is the end of this video. It was a long one and I do apologize, but this was such a fun video um, to film. I love like just looking at rich people and wishing I was them. No, 